What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're gonna show you guys one thing you should really know about the Z Fold 7, which is how to increase the grid skies for your apps on your main screen, the inner screen when unfolded. Now, if you don't know, you can easily do this from the stock One UI settings by long pressing on the cover screen, going in here and changing your home screen grid. You can change it from four by six to five by six. Um, but the main place where you'd probably wanna get more app icons and more information is on the main screen because of course it's larger. You can also change your app screen grid, by the way, from four columns to five columns for the cover screen, which I do as well, but that's also not an option by default for the main screen. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get that enabled today. Before we get started, I remind you guys, check out our website, sammyguru.com, cover related Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. If you guys wanna get in our mystery box program, tap the orange banner at the top, you get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, other randomly inserted goodies. Uh, all you have to do is tap on the orange banner. Galaxy S26 Ultra is open now. If you guys are thinking about buying Galaxy S26 device, covers all the different S26 devices. Those of you who did the Z Fold 7, Z Flip 7 Watch 8 series, your box will ship by July 31st. So you should see a tracking scan on your tracking number by then. If you don't, by August 1st, send me an email, shipping at semiguru.com. Check it out below if you're gonna participate in the S26 program for all the details. So let's go ahead and go through this. If you open up to the main screen, let's do that first of all. If you go into the main screen, you're gonna notice when you long press here on the settings that you don't have these two options by default the home screen grid and the app screen grid here. The only reason that you would see these is if you add the home up module to Goodlock. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today really quickly how to do this so that you can make this grid larger. You can see the stock is six by six and I've made mine an eight by eight, which is actually here the largest grid you can get with home up. You can see the little home icon, has a little picture of a house next to it. Now you can also make your app screen grid larger from six columns to eight columns, which I've also done with home up. So to do this, what you're gonna do is first go to the Galaxy Store. If you don't have GoodLock, a lot of you probably do if you watch my channel, you probably know about GoodLock and you probably use GoodLock on a daily basis. But if you don't have it, go download GoodLock. This is Samsung's customization suite for Galaxy phones. It has a bunch of add-ons that lets you get useful things that improve the experience of your device. So go ahead and open this. And then once you do it, you're going to download the Home Up module, which has a lot of customization, not just customization relative to this trick I'm showing today, but other things as well. And I've covered some of those in other videos, which I'll link below. So if you find Home Up, it's this module right here. Go ahead and hit the install button. Mine is already installed, but you'll see a uh, little icon to download it. And then go ahead and press play to open the Home Up module. So two things here that you want to do. One, go into home screen, turn on Use settings dialog on the home screen. This allows you to see your home up settings directly inside the stock One UI home settings, which I already showed you. And then down here, you can edit your home screen grid. And it's not just eight by eight. You can actually do seven by eight, seven by seven, six by eight, five by eight. You can change both the number of rows and the number of columns. And you have this option to view widgets larger if you want. So if you wanna increase the size of the widgets, you can do that when you scale your grid for the apps to be larger, because of course they'll get scaled down a little bit. So if you wanna play with that, see what looks the best to you. Of course, you can also change things like your favorites max count, your app list columns, which I showed you earlier. You can do not just eight, but five, six, seven, and eight. And you can use horizontal scroll in the app drawer, even if you have alphabetical sorting on. So if you like horizontal scrolling with alphabetical order instead of the custom order, you can change that as well. So once you have that changed, you can do it a couple of ways here. You can long press on here. You'll see the home up button right here. And then you can change all of your home stuff from directly on that home up icon. You can change your home for loop pages, finder access, and the home screen grid, which you can easily set the columns and rows right there. Just be aware if you do change these, it will shift over some of your app icons and things like that. So you can see like here, I, shift, I shifted mine and it changed the widget size as I was doing that. And it also moved my camera up because I changed one of the column sizes and then I changed it back to eight by eight. So if you play with this, it might mess up some of your widget sizes, et cetera, which is why there's the option to keep the widgets larger even when you change the grid size. Now, like I said, you can also change a lot of other things in here. The app icons can be made larger, smaller from down here and also turn the labels on or off. Inside of your app drawer, you also have the same toggle down here in the three dots menu. You also see home up to turn on that horizontal scroll or edit that app list columns from five up to eight. 
So this one change can make a big difference with your Z Fold 7 because you get more information on your larger screen. I don't know why Samsung didn't build this into the stock One UI settings. It would have made a lot of sense. And it's kind of weird because they did have it on the Z Fold 6 last year, but perhaps because of the way some of this aspect ratio for widget changes, things like that, they offloaded it to home up just so they could address some of those, you know, kind of weird things and also warn people that those widgets might get scaled to different sizes. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Check out the Mystery Box program if you guys are interested in the S26 program. Those of you in the current program, your box ships by July 31st. Again, let us know if you don't get tracking by August 1st, shipping at samiguru.com. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Of course, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.